Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at how we can make a button move your animation from one frame to another frame. We're also going to look at how we can make a button move from one scene to another scene. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to create a very simple button using the rectangle tool. I'm going to um, highlight this button and I'm going to right click and say convert to symbol. I'm going to select button and I'm going to rename the button to BTN uh, I'm going to call it button frame like that, OK. I'm also going to make a copy of this frame um, and I'm going to just change this title here to uh, frame 2. This one's going to be called frame, oops, frame 1. Okay. I'm now going to double click on this button. Okay. As you can see, we've got a different kind of timeline here. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call that text. I'm going to make text go all the way across uh, by pressing F5. On the button, I'm going to press F6 a couple of times. And I'm going to show you what these different things mean. Okay, so I've pressed F6 on all of those frames. The up frame refers to um, the way the button looks when your mouse is not over it. This is what the button will look like when the mouse is over it. So in this case, what I would quite like to do is change the color of the green to slightly darker when the mouse is over. And this is what the bu button's gonna look like when the mouse is pressing the button. So in this case, I'm gonna put it quite dark. The hit is the area that uh, the mouse has to be touching in order for it to activate the button. You don't actually see that area, that area is invisible. And I'll show you the significance of that in a moment. On the text layer, I'm just gonna write in go. Move that into the right place. Okay, so I've got my basic button. If I press control and enter now, you can see how it works. At the moment, I need to control my animation because it's going from frame one to frame two. So let's go back to scene create a new layer, this one's going to be called button, this one's going to be called action. On action, press F6, so you've got two frames, then open up the actions layer and type in stop, open brackets, close brackets, then a semicolon. Do the same thing for the other one. And what that's saying is, when, it, when the animation hits this frame, stop. So now if I press Ctrl and Enter, it stays on frame one. If I move my mouse over, you can see it gets slightly darker. If I press it, it gets really dark. If I change the hit on this button, for example, if I go here and I change it to uh, another rectangle that's really big, or in fact, I'll put another big panel over here. When I run it, you don't see that black box, but if I move my mouse over here, you can see it has an impact on the button. So the hit is the area that you want your button to activate. Okay, so I've got my button to go from frame one, uh, well, on frame one and frame two. What I want to do now is get it to actually work so it goes to frame two. So what I do is I click on the button once, I go to actions, and I type in the following code. On brackets, press, open curly braces, or curly brackets, and say root underscore root dot go to and play. Very important that you put in the capital letters where appropriate. You can just double click on it. Open up your brackets and then just say frame two. Use the semicolon, that's the dot and the dash. Press enter and close the braces or the curly brackets. You can now copy that. Go to frame two. Click on the button once, open up the actions. Paste the uh, button in, the code in, and change that to one. If I run it. You can see now that the frame, the button works, it changes the frames. So that's how you control your animations using a button to go from frame to frame. But it's not always appropriate to go from frame to frame. Sometimes you want to change scenes. So here's how the scenes work. If you haven't got the scenes window open, go to window, go to, um, where is it? Other panels 
and select scene. You can also press shift and F2. I'm going to create a scene and I'm going to just rename that for now. Uh, well, I'm, I'll leave it as scene two for now so it's easy. Back on frame one, I'm going to create a new button. Um, let's make it a little bit nicer. Let's make it a nice um, orange button. Okay. So I've got a nice orange button here. I'm going to um, change that to a button, convert to symbol, and I'm going to call this BTN Scene. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to do the same things as I did before. Text. I'm going to press F5 uh, and F6 on all of these. I'm going to use the text and I'm going to just write go again. I'm going to change the colour to something we can see. Whoops. Didn't mean to save it. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to then change the colours. So we're going to go slightly darker on the over and then really dark on the oops really dark when it's pressed you can also change the colors of the text if you wanted to so when it's over I might want to change um, let's have a look. I may want to change that to white now so you can actually do that if you want to as well that's why it's always a good idea to change things with different colors uh, use different layers to help you control the way your things look so, <clears throat> that's frame one. I'm just gonna add in here as well, which is also scene one, so you can see. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna copy that button. Control C. And I'm gonna paste it in here. I'm also gonna just grab this text and write it in here so you can see what's going on. Okay. Now before I can get this button working, we need to add an extra layer in here. And on that layer, we're gonna call this label. We're going to click on the first frame and open up the properties box. Now you see here, it says frame label. You need to click on that and give this uh, label, this particular frame a name. So I'm gonna call this uh, label um, frame one. I'm gonna to go to scene two and do exactly the same thing. Change this to label and call this Hippo. Now I've called it a different name. It's just that to illustrate to you that it has you can be you can be called it anything you want. Uh, we do need another layer in here still called actions because we need to be able to stop the animation when we hit the page. So that is stop like that. I've used the name Hippo with a capital H. It's really important when you uh, name things, you use things consistently. Um, a capital H is different to a small h when it comes to using names. So we're going to go back to scene one. I'm going to click on the button, go to actions. And this one is exactly the same. On, press, brackets, um, underscore root dot, oops, little r, underscore root dot, go to and play. And now this time, I've got a name for it, and it's called Hippo. I'm gonna copy that code, Control C. I'm gonna to go to scene two, click on the button, open up the actions, and paste. And the other example, we call it frame one. Let's take a look. There's scene two. Oh, I've done something wrong. Let's take a look why. Ah, you see? Now, I said frame one, but I didn't put in a space in this example. So I've got to go back to scene two, change the code on the button, and make sure I call it exactly the same. I think I also use a little f. And there we go, now it's working. That's why it's really important to make sure that your frame names are exactly the same. Another common mistake uh, I just want to point out to you guys is that sometimes, if you don't click on the button properly and you just open up the actions layer and paste in the code, 
when you run it, you'll get this error message. And the error message says, mouse events are only permitted for button instances. That means I've put the code on the actual frame instead of the button. And you can tell that there's code on the frame because there's a little A symbol on the actual uh, frame. That means action script. So you need to, to fix this, you need to click on the frame, open up the actions and then delete the code. And that's it. That is how you get to change between frames and this is how you get to change between scenes.